Hi, I'm Mike Fleming, the president of Sales Tax and More, and uh, I wanted to share a great question. One of my salespeople came to me today, and they said they had a, a prospective client on, on the phone, and he flat out asked, what happens if I never pay sales tax? And, you know, you may have heard me say this before. Uh, so many um, questions when it comes to sales tax. The answer is going to be it depends. And, you know, it, uh, to be real honest with you, if you've never paid sales tax, maybe nothing happens. You know, if the state doesn't find you, you know, they're out there actively trying to track you down. But some state, some companies go their entire existence and never get found. Um, others aren't so lucky. And right now, because of the Wayfair decision in all of these states looking for uh, companies they believe have economic nexus, uh, they're stumbling on companies who have had nexus for 10, 12, 15 years. Uh, things like uh, utilizing independent contractors or subcontractors. You know, a lot of you are probably scratching your head and saying, how in the world can a subcontractor uh, or an independent contractor give me nexus? But there are actually two U.S. Supreme Court cases that say third parties, people you have no control over, can actually create nexus for you, a responsibility to collect and remit tax if they're helping you to establish or maintain a marketplace. So that trips up a, a lot of companies. So even though these states are out there looking uh, for you, um, and they're doing so because of this economic nexus, they may stumble across some other types of nexus that may have been present for years. So, uh, but again, if the state doesn't find you, nothing's going to happen. Now, if they do find you before you step forward voluntarily, then the state in theory can go back to the first day you ever started doing business in that state. Um, in reality, you know, if it, maybe it was 20 years ago, they could, in theory, do that. We, I, I've seen 12 years uh, a company here in Texas that uh, the state of Texas went after. Um, in reality, they very rarely do they go back that far. They can, but they don't. Um, however, I say this tongue in cheek, they only go back seven, eight, or 10 years, and that depends on the state. A um, state like Texas generally only goes back seven years. Um, but as I mentioned, we had a case where they went back 12 years. A uh, state like California generally goes back eight years, and states like Hawaii are going to go back 10 years. So I don't know of any states that go back nine years. So it's either seven, eight, or 10 years. When I say go back, um, they're going to go back that far, and if you have had this link or connection with the state that we call nexus that long, they're going to want all of the bat tax, they're going to want all of the penalty, and they're going to want all of the interest. They usually don't cut deals once they find you. Now, a lot of companies, uh, they start hearing footsteps. They start getting a little bit nervous. They see the states ramping up uh, their uh, discovery and their compliance units. Um, and they say, you know, I'd much rather pay three years of back tax than 10 years of back tax. So they're stepping forward voluntarily, and there's a program out there called a voluntary disclosure agreement. And what that will do is limit the look back period to either three or four years. A lot better to pay tax on three years rather than eight or 10 years. Um, they'll also waive the penalty. And in some cases, uh, there's about seven, eight states or so that will also waive the interest. So that's called a voluntary disclosure program. And as a reward for stepping volu forward voluntarily, these states are going to reduce the amounts of penalty and interest. Now, with all the different things happening out there right now, some companies are realizing that uh, they have uh, economic nexus or, you know, that's starting to get old. You know, some states uh, are going on 18 months at this point, but um, they're just registering on a prospective basis. So they've never been registered before. They never collected sales tax before. And uh, the states don't want them to just register going forward, but a lot of them are. And, uh, a lot of the times, you know, this is state's not going to find them. State's going to take them at their world. 
work. If the state does find them, they're going to want their penalty and interest at that point. Um, but we see a lot of e-commerce sellers at this point just getting registered on a, on a going forward basis. So um, the answer to the question, what happens if you never pay tax? Simple answer is maybe nothing. Maybe the state never finds you. Um, or if the state does find you, maybe you're paying the last 10 years worth of back tax plus penalty and interest, uh, which can equal up to, you know, 50% or more on something that long of the actual tax you owe. So it can be devastating to a business. I mean, I've seen businesses get shut down uh, when a state finds them. And when one state finds you, they usually share your information with others. If you're being proactive, if you're working with the states, they generally don't share information. But if they find you, they're often sharing your information. So I hope that um, answers your questions as to what happens if you've never paid tax. Um, uh, again, I'm Mike Fleming, we're sales tax and more. Uh, if you have other questions or need uh, any additional information, our website has a lot of free resources up there. It's www.salestaxandmore.com. Uh, or you can maybe reach out to us directly at contact at salestaxandmore.com. Once again, contact at salestaxandmore.com. Sales Tax and More is all spelled out. Uh, thanks and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.